well my dear students the course is labor policy pakistan and uh, the topic in hand is examining labor laws before and after 18th amendment to the constitution of pakistan 1973 my dear students ye jo 18th tarmeem hai jo constitution mein hui hai isko national assembly ne pass kiya April 8, 2010 में और इससे रिमूव हुई प्रेसिडेंट की पावर्स टू डिसॉल्व द पार्लियामेंट यूनिलैटरली टर्निंग पाकिस्तान फ्रॉम अ सेमी प्रेसिडेंशियल टू अ पार्लियामेंट्री रिपब्लिक एंड रीनेमिंग नॉर्थ वेस्ट फ्रंटियर प्रोविंस टू कैबर पख्तूनख्वा माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स द बिल reversed many infringements to the constitution of pakistan that caused that happened to the constitution several decades before and after by its military rulers dear students the amendment bill was passed by the senate of pakistan on april 15 2010 and it became an act of parliament when president put his signature on the bill on april 19 2010 mr anish jalani is a very scholarly person and in his article on 18th amendment in english daily news he comments that that the amendment that the 18th amendment was passed in april 2010 despite the passage of almost 20 months nothing with regard to the legislative front has transpired resultantly the federal government closed a certain number of ministries but gradually their functioning is being performed by the inter provincial division located in the cabinet division this situation instead of helping to improve the situation and the state of governance has worsened the state of affair in pakistan to give just one example ladies and gentlemen the licensing and registration of pharmaceutical drugs was undertaken by the drugs act 1976 by the federal ministry of health the ministry of health has been abolished although the drugs act remains on the statute book it is indeed a conflict of things being going on after 18th amendment my dear students after the passage of 18th amendment article 142 of the constitution states that subject to paragraph b a provincial assembly shall and parliament shall not have power to make laws with respect to any matter not enumerated in the federal legislative list dear students paragraph b says parliament and the provincial assembly shall have power to make laws with respect to criminal law criminal procedure and evidence what as a matter of fact the 18th amendment has done it has abolished the concurrent list my dear students from the fourth schedule of the constitution the list the very list authorized both the federal and provincial governments to make laws with respect to matters contained in this very list after the abolition of the concurrent list the jurisdiction of the center 
to make laws on these very subjects has been taken away from their federal government. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you very much indeed.